So for an update, as we take a look at what's happening, uh, uh, let's cross now to SABC News reporter Atule Choka, who is in Cape Town at uh, the bus terminus. Let's take a look at what's happening there. Atule, good morning. So uh, taxis yesterday, you know, bringing uh, parts of the Western Cape road infrastructure to a standstill. But what's happening this morning? tell you where I'm standing. This is a Cape Town train deck station. This is normally a bus link. They estimated 12,000 uh, taxis that take place in and around the city of Cape Town all come here. This is an interconnected space where all the people who come to town and go to their workplaces, they come and connect here as they go to uh, their workplaces and the industries that they are working in. But this morning is scantily. Uh, it is very quiet. It is very quiet. I saw some people just sitting on benches. They don't know uh, where to go and what to do and one guy I just spoke to now told me that he worked overnight a night shift he was coming here to catch uh, his taxi home but when he arrived here and um, there are no taxis so he's now taking a nap a bit on the bench uh, and then he's hoping to to maybe get a train but he's saying even that it is not safe Sakina we understand that at around 12 yesterday the taxis started withdrawing from this particular rank to um, their homes at uh, around 3 p.m. yesterday there were no taxes uh, at this place. But I want to bring in one of the people who slept in town overnight to talk to us about um, how they got to be stranded in the city of Cape Town. Budi, we were speaking earlier on on Kwenze Gendon Naizon. Just talk to me as to what happened and Mklangutin uh, Usela Pango. No, the problem is in the Obangaba. It takes the gang and send the operator when it comes in ten in the Puma M7 because we're in the U12. We have this Puma van, this Puma on nine. So we're running about nine, eight o'clock. Then we have from Sek Bangaba it takes the other not operating. So then we have to Bangaba and ten to go as Bangaba and ten in the ten in the Lale M7 because of no it takes the Aziko up. So you said uh, you had to sleep at work because there were no taxis. Um, and then this morning you came here, Ubuzotini. Uh, what did you come here? The time I was coming here, Bendizotini, Bendizo Pinandizotini, and Dizo Boya Bangabandizotini, Dizo Ya Elin, so that Dizo was good in Dutin and your refresher. Then after all, Pin and Boyle Peck M7. But still, now we take the Aziko. Also, you were telling me about the kind of job that you are doing. Uh, the kind of job that I'm dealing with it, I'm busy with the, uh, the TICC at the netball. Uh -huh. okay. So talk to us about um, what are you going to do from now? From now on, I'm still stuck because of Indoni. problem is I also need maybe if ever there is a bus, but it's very, 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 very even hard to get a bus because of Indoni. I don't know even also what is happening at Kailich because I'm staying in Kailich. And Kailich, you know, people, they sit and it's wrong, it's rough at the same time. Mm. And you're saying there are some people who also slept over here in town, is mm. Yeah, there were people who also slept here over in town, a lot. Even here in, in the bars, also here in the Long Street, because it's the only way they could do. Thank you so much. Can you give us your name? My name is Anneli Tofu. Thank you so much, Anele Tofu, who also find uh, himself uh, stranded here as Sakina as a result of the taxis that are not operating. He's saying, of course, yesterday um, when the buses were withdrawn, he decided to go and sleep at work. Uh, he's working uh, on the World Cup that is taking place here in Cape Town. So he wanted to go to, to his home this morning to go and refresh and come back, but there are no taxis now, so he doesn't know what he will do. Maybe he will go back to work as well. He's saying some of the people had to go and sleep in bars uh, around town because some of the people were stranded. We heard there were some people who were stuck here uh, at this uh, uh, particular uh, taxi rank but what they had to do they, they, they were forced away, they were moved away by the law enforcement officials so they had to find shelters around the town so that, um, that they can be able to sleep. Uh, some people had to, were taking place, they were, were walking over uh, on the end to trying to go back home. This is a debacle between the city of Cape Town and the taxi association. Uh, the city 
of Cape Town says they are conducting these law enforcement operations in and around town and it was time to conduct the enforcement operations at this taxi rank when uh, that uh, particular debacle ensued between the taxi drivers and the law enforcement officials. Um, they are saying they started to scuffle, they started to fight and then that resulted in some of the people getting arrested and some of the taxis getting impounded. The taxi drivers on their side, they are saying that the taxi drivers, they are saying that um, the city official also just uh, impounds their taxes on just mere transgressions that they are doing. So they, they are very uh, concerned about that. So they are saying they will only come back on the 9th of August to come and operate until this matter is resolved. So we'll go to different places to see how is the situation with the people who are stranded here in Cape Town. Second.